Abundant Water's Guide to Clay Water Filtration, Step 4, Firing the Kiln. On the bottom of the kiln, we place firewood and charcoal. Then there's a screen rack to hold our filters. Then we add our filters. Our kiln holds about 40. Here you can see the bottom fire loaded and ready to burn. Plastic in this clay acts as a temperature gauge to know when the filters have reached a high enough temperature to become ceramic. When they do, the plastic will melt. The bottom of the fire is started using rice straw as a kindling. It takes a few minutes to get the fire burning properly. Once the fire is burning, you'll want to get the temperature up to about 900 degrees Celsius. Do the steps slowly, giving yourself several hours. Once it has reached 900 degrees, you can begin putting rice straw on top of the kiln. Please take note that the straw will catch fire. The burnt straw will create a vacuum that keeps the heat inside of the kiln and helps us to maintain a constant firing temperature of 900 degrees. This is to avoid temperature shock to the filters when heating and cooling to avoid cracking. Hold at 900 degrees for several more hours, then stop adding fuel. The next morning, the kiln and the filters should be cool enough to touch. Carefully remove the top grating, always testing for areas that are still hot to the touch. This is how our PVC temperature gauge should look when it's finished. Now we're going to give a thorough quality control inspection of the filters. These filters look good and are ready to be used. However, some filters are cracked and unusable. The seams were not properly sealed when the two halves were formed so this crack developed during firing. Cracked or damaged filters can be reused or recycled. Luckily, the vast majority of these filters are ready to move on to the next step. After we pack up the quality filters, they are ready to be assembled.